Wow, look at that. It's my logo. Stunning. Maybe we go beyond? Let's give it a try. And... Wow. Tubular. Corriamo in Modena. So today we're gonna listen to the performance of my Ave Maria and then we have a look to an amazing choir library which is called Dominus. May the force be with us, think crossed. Okay, it was not so easy busy, you know, while singing out tour en plein air um, can be dangerous. So now we move to the studio to hear the um, virtual translation of this Ave Maria performed by Domino Choir. First and foremost, Domino Choir Library is just amazing, really fascinating. I fell in love with it from the very first time. And I want to stress something here. For me, it is the THE most attractive and well-constructed choir library ever created to now. So let's dive straight in. Um, I just want to let you know, see something here on the main GUI. Can you hear, can you see that? Oh, okay. So this is the main GUI. It is divided into three main sections. The engine, where you can choose between male choir and female choir, activate actually the male section or female section. Uh, then the mix panels here with my positions, spot close, mid, far. Then the choir balance between the male and female section, some reverb settings here. And then the most attractive feature of this GUI, this library, which is the word editor so a few days ago i've just uh, made sort of uh overview of uh another choir library which is in solidus by dio and in solidus has, hasn't got a, a real word editor it has a sort of phrase editor but this is a real word editor um, I think we, we are going to uh, into that a little better a bit later, but for the moment uh, you, there, there are two main uh, ways you can uh, create a word. So you can either choose a word between in the, um, among this uh, almost uh, 300, if my memory serves me well, list of word, Latin words here. But in case you don't find uh, you, the word you need here in the preset list, you can just go with that sort of puzzle method in the editor itself. So for instance, we just make an example. Uh, we, we, we're gonna get rid of all the syllables. So we, are begin, we begin from, we start from scratch here to create a word. The M, the, this uh, slot is empty. So we begin with, uh, for instance, fa. Then we go ahead with Fakri. Uh, we go even further with Fakriste, and then we end with Fakristendit. Okay, that's uh, an insane word, Latin word. So Fakristendit um, does not exist. It does not exist here in the um, uh, preset list, but I I could create it uh, here with this this kind of puzzle method. But um, with that said, however, 
uh, it has not been so easy to make this choir sing my Ave Maria in the exactly same same way uh, I was thinking before starting. Uh, for two main reasons, uh, uh, let's change perspective here, sorry for that, just kept on uh, looking at, the, at this camera, but um, the, this camera was recording actually, so bye bye. Um, first off, I expected to find in the library all the exact words of the Ave Maria. I've been mesmerized by the name of the library, Dominus, which let me think I could have been able to manage in an easy way all the words of this prayer, but that was my bad. Uh, just a dream, and I can blame Fl Fluffy Audio for that, sure. Um, so, uh, beside these two solutions, the preset list here, or the, the puzzle method here, I think a much more better solution, but surely not an easy peasy one, uh, would have been to insert precisely the whole bunch of words required in a certain text, a prayer, psalm, chant, hymn, or whatever. In that way, uh, with no doubt, for sure, I could have better managed my Ave Maria. I know what you're thinking. Ha, ah, nice one, guy. That would have been a freaking work to sample, you know, all the words needed for all the Latin prayers in the world. And I completely got that. I'm with you. But, you know, when it comes down to choose your word and that word is missing, well, let's put it simply, it's gonna be a long-winded process. I mean, the name of this library is Dominus. So, I assume it was created actually not for an epic music and kind of trailer sound. The official video of Lafayette is promoting this product, made him sing the Mozart Lacrimosa. Okay, the Mozart Lacrimosa. So, this library is likely to be perfect and suitable for a way more classical and traditional sound. Uh, and for all that purpose, and I'm not repeating myself, but I really want to. Uh, stress it again, this library is just amazing. So cut long story short, beside this almost 300 uh, words in the preset list and the puzzle method of creating words in the editor, they probably could also con uh, concentrate just on two or three at the most Latin texts, but the whole of them uh, I mean, the most famous one, Ave Maria, the Pater Noster, whatever. And I've so all the, the words needed. But anyway, my walk around to have all the words uh, which were uh, not present in the library has been a really simple and, let's put it in this way, brutal one. So I've just recorded my voice singing the missing words and then trying to make mix it all together in the best possible way now uh, with those syllables similar to the right word offered by the library itself sometimes well sometimes uh, even more than sometimes it sounds crap <laughs> you know but alas this was my attempt to reconstruct the missing words by myself so just want to let you hear some of this in, in audio audio insertion so this is the uh, of the MIDI here, but this um, uh, palm, palm, purple pink uh, trucks here are uh, audio, and these are the recording with, of, of my voice. Um, so let's take a listen, for instance, to this this guys here. I don't know. Uh, take a listen even to this two one. Now take a listen to this one. So that that's my crappy sounds like crappy like like crappy like crappy like crap voice here. But anyway, um, guys, 
Now, this was my uh, attempt to um, recreate all the all the words needed. So, for instance, in the in the text of the Ave Maria, um, where is the the score here? In the text of Ave Maria, uh, this sentence here was one of probably the one of the the the, the tricky one, the tricky sentence in all the the composition under a, a word edit uh, point of view. So. The, fr the sentence nunc et in ora mortis nostre uh, we miss here in this um, in this word editor we miss the word nunc we don't have the word nostre so you, you can't do the, um, the, the uh, union of the consonant the consonant s t r nostre str, nostre you can't do you know, it's, it's not possible, just impossible to, to, to have this word. And it sounds like bizarre, odd, because Ave Maria is actually one of the most famous prayer, Latin prayer. So for a library which is intended to perform a Latin text uh, class in a classical way, traditional, uh, sacred Latin text way, it sounds a little bit strange that uh, weird that uh, we don't have all the words of this kind of most famous prayer Ave Maria in the world. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. but it's okay anyway. Um, the second aspect uh, giving me some kind of trouble is related instead not uh, to the word but to the envelope of these samples if you listen to the dynamic of the words you can create you'll find that almost every one of them almost every word has been performed and recorded with a sort of uh, dynamic uh, as well uh, an arc made of crescendo and diminuendo or at least that's my impression but you know um, just try it off yourself for, for instance if you listen to the Ave or Maria uh, let's have a listen to, to, the, to this Ave or to this Maria let's take some soprano are you Soprano uno here. Where is the soprano? Oh, sorry, 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 soprano. These are audio here. Soprano uno, okay. Okay, let, let's have a listen to the Ave, for instance. Let's go. Let's change the in the in the engine section where you can see the exact uh, crescendo, the exact point of um, climax, the accent, and then the uh, fading out the diminuendo. So you see, you listen, ah, crescendo, v accent, climax, and then. Uh, going down. Uh, let's take a listen to the. Um, we don't have Maria here. Uh, so give me Maria, give me a Maria, give me Maria. No, you don't have Maria. Okay, let's take for instance uh, the altos. Okay, altos. So the first uh, altos here. And let's take the Maria. Oh, sorry, you listen to that. The word start with a sort of crescendo, then uh, it just have this its climax, its accent on the E of Maria, and then uh, diminuendo. So that's beautiful, just amazing, brilliant, wonderful. But what if I don't want this kind of arc? What if I just want a sustain, you know, sustain note with no crescendo at all? Um, well, 
what if I, I just want to completely get rid of this arc? So the short answer is you can't. It's impossible. Okay? You just can't. Uh, every word here has, uh, has its own envelope of expression and volume and you can't really completely get rid of it, of it and manage uh, it in a totally different way. Uh, apparently you can't modify this natural curve for instance with a module. Uh, for sure you, you actually you, you, you can surely use your modulation wheel to to make crescendo and diminuendo but if you want to completely get rid of this arc and uh, in particular of this accent you know it's easy it's easy said than done so if, if I just want Maria with no accent at all not so easy so that was the, the second um, trouble this library uh, created created uh, to my um, virtual translation of my composition of my Ave Maria uh, but on the other hand this is exactly the strength of this library I mean that really brings the icing on the cake uh, even if you're not going to use your own dynamics curves with modulation or expression, don't worry. This choir is making stand them out for you, automatic, automatically for you. Just play chord here and everything will sound good by no means. So have a listen. amazing okay <laughs> I'm not complaining but for some kind of tweakings like uh, the one I, I, I needed to do to do in this case of my composition so to get completely get rid of this accent this dynamic arc it's not so easy I mean you have to to take your time to uh, to do that um so i just wanted to now to let you listen to my ave maria and the end so but i, I better uh, restart this session i better restart this session of logic because uh, i've made some tweakings during this recordings and I'm not sure this tweakings uh, are correct for uh, uh, let perform the in the right way my Ave Maria. So let's um, load again the session of the of the piece. Okay. Uh, in the meantime. In the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, I just want to, sorry, here, here, okay. I just want to I just want to wave to you say to you thanks for watching and let's try are you ready come on
Yeah. Subscribe. Let's do it again. Where are you? Here. Subscribe to the channel. Ding that bell if you want to be notified. And um, once again, please. I've just spent so much time and effort to uh, make this uh, sub YouTube subscriber logo appear in that way. One last time. Subscribe to the channel. Ding that bell if you want to be notified. And... Come on, I tried ridiculous. Why this cheesy ending of me? So, uh, back to Eva Maria. Let's give it a listen. I'll see you next time. Take care. Take care, take care, take care, but take care, take care, take care, here and here. Where are you? My server, am I? Where am I? Where am I? I am. I am uh, here. Bye bye. Take care. So listen to my Ave Maria with the. Uh, I just want to to bring it the the score in front of you. Come come on over, baby. Here. Okay. So you're ready to go. I don't know if we are ready to go. Oh, sorry. Let me just select all the all the MIDI. The MIDI notes here. The MIDI track. Okay, so here it's the MIDI. And here it's the score. And then we can go. Probably can go. No, yes, why not? Yes, okay, go, bye bye. See you next time. Bye.